Hey guys, what's up? Caleb Downing here, and today we're going to talk about the SMG9 suppressor from KGM. Let's get into it. Alright, so disclaimers, right at the back, right at the back, right at the front, right at the gate. I know there's a term. Sometimes I get my terms mixed up. KGM did send me this suppressor. That's what I'm trying to say. I did not buy the suppressor. KGM sent it to me after I requested it, and I appreciate that. Um, one major thing that I've said before, I'll say it again, is when a company sends me a product, especially something like this, it allows me to do a review of talking about what the can is useful for and maybe what it's not useful for and not having to worry about defending a purchase and try to explain why it's worth XYZ amount of dollars. So because of that, I'm not really going to be talking about MSRP. If you want to go look at MSRP, go look it up at their website. Um, but also, it just it's going to help me not to have to be biased towards the can because I didn't have to go buy it. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Um, I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't, well then so be it. We're going to continue on with the review and talk about it. Um, but I do appreciate KGM for sending this thing out. So thank you guys. So without further ado, let's get into some specs. Talk about what comes in the box. Talk about some features of the can. We'll shoot it and then we'll give our wrap-up thoughts. So let's get into it. All right, so specs right out the gate. See, I said it right that time. Um, the SMG9, we have a size and weight factor here of 10 ounces, 10 even ounces, a 5.6 inch overall length and a 1.5 inch diameter. Uh, compatible calibers, nine millimeter NATO. So that's what they have listed here. Don't be shooting other stuff through it, um, or at least nothing larger than nine millimeter NATO. It is full auto rated, according to them, and the material construction is hardened stainless steel. All right, recoil reduction. This can does utilize their adjustable port end cap, APEC. Um, it is not adjustable as much as some of their other cans. Some of their other cans, you actually have screws that you can put in to adjust the front cap. We'll show that in a second. Um, to kind of help tune everything up. This doesn't have the ability to tune. They're not threaded, so that just uh, it does have the ports which act as a brake, which is, is, it is helpful. It also does utilize their integrated gas flow system which is kind of like a flow through system as it were. So it helps to get those gases away from the shooter and not just get bottled up inside the can and then shot back down the barrel or the gas system of your firearm. It helps get those gases out and away from you. All right, their mounting solution is gonna be a little bit different than what they have on the screen. Uh, what I have thrown up there, it does ship with a half by 28 direct thread mount and you can get, and I do have their tri-lug mount, but they do not have, in my understanding, last time I talked to these guys, they are not going to be doing a booster for this can. They're going to be making, my understanding, a pistol suppressor and leaving this guy as an SMG can. So this guy is not getting a booster. This guy has a tri-lug or half by 28 or a half by 36 direct thread. All right, so talking about this can, I'm a sucker. I really am a sucker for a good nine millimeter can. I think nine millimeter, I think 40 is a really cool round to suppress. I think it's an unsung hero. But other than that, nine millimeter is definitely gonna be cheaper. It's just so fun to shoot a very well suppressed nine millimeter host, right? It's just, it's just, it's just nice, it's just nice. And this can is a very heavy built can. I mean, this guy is made out of stainless steel or hardened stainless steel. This is not your lightweight little can. You could go to town on this guy. It says it's full auto rated. I don't have a full auto gun right now. Um, but I mean, I, I would totally believe it. I would totally believe it. It is beefy, but it's not that big of a can. If you compare this guy to a lot of other nine millimeter suppressors out there, you have a lot of them that are a lot longer, right? Like especially pistol cans. Pistol cans for nine millimeter, for whatever reason, they generally are like nine inches long, right? Seven to nine inches long. This guy is like five and a half inches, just, just over five and a half inches long. He is a little heavy, but you gotta keep in mind, keep it in its wheelhouse. It's like, well, that's what I like to preach about. Um, keep it in its wheelhouse. This is a PCC can. So there's a reason they decided not to go ahead and, and build a booster for this because they want to utilize this guy for PCCs. And as a PCC can, this guy does very, very well, in my opinion. Um, like I said earlier, this guy does come with, it's about the only thing he comes with. You don't get a, a bag and a bunch of other stuff. All you get in the box is the box itself, the can, and your direct threat, half a 28. But you can get, and they did send me, their boot, uh, not booster, their tri-lug, right? So this is a tri-lug, and this mounting thread pattern is different than any other thread pattern that I've ever had. I can't find it anywhere, and from what I understand, talking to them, it is proprietary, it's, it's their own thread mount. You're not, or thread pattern, 
you're not gonna be able to use their mounts on other cans or other cans mounts on these cans. So you're kind of tied into that. However, this is, again, think remembering that this is a PCC can, there's not a whole lot of options out there that I'm aware of for like QD systems for pistol caliber cans, right? Most of them are gonna be direct thread or they're gonna be trilug. And they have trilug and they have direct thread. So they kind of have you covered it's not that big a deal to me that this isn't like hub compatible or something like that since they do offer everything. And speaking of keeping things in house and making their own stuff, if you can see the quality of this guy, I know the lighting's not the best. I need to change my lighting up a little bit. Um, but the quality of this guy, it, it, it looks classy in my opinion. That's what I'm trying to say. Everything lines up properly. It looks nice. And as we're going to see here in a second, it performs very well, in my opinion. It performs very well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. Let's check it out. See how it sounds on a couple different hosts. And then we'll come back here and give our wrap-up thoughts. All right, guys, so there you go. That is the SMG9 by KGM. KGM makes cans for other companies, right? So they're, I think it's what you would call an OEM manufacturer for other suppressor companies. And it shows, it shows because they know what they're doing. They know how to make a good quality can. Talking about robustness, I've shot their 5.56 can, and I also have one of their 30 cal cans. Their 30 cal can is titanium, so it's not a heavy use can, but for 30 cal can, it's it works very well. Their 5.56 can, and the SMG9 can are both tanks. They are heavy, heavy use cans. You, if you're buying these cans, you're probably not worried about being the most lightweight, you know, system out there. However, I almost said lightweight and compact. These are compact. The, the quality of, of sound reduction and flash mitigation you get from their cans and the size that their cans are, you can tell they have a lot of technology packed away into these little things, and they do very, very, very well. All right, guys, to keep from beating a dead horse to death, um, I'm just going to move on from this and wrap this thing up. If you are the kind of person that wants a quality can that's going to last you a long time, and not only be quality in the construction, but also in the sound quality, the flash mitigation um, that you get, you don't get a whole lot of accessories for the back end. You don't get a lot of accessories for the whole thing overall. You can't change the front caps. You can't put a wipe in it. But you don't need to. You don't need to. It already has everything that you need as far as I'm as far as I'm concerned. It's it's a buy it and be done nine millimeter pistol caliber carbine can. If you get one of these, I think you're gonna be very, very pleased. Um, I don't think I would really change anything on it. I mean, the only thing I could possibly think of to change on it would be to use some kind of a universal mounting system. But since you already get a half a 28 direct thread, which over half of the PCCs out there are going to be half a 28. And if you don't have that, you can get the half by 36. And if you do want to use some kind of QD, well, the standard QD for 9mm or PCCs is Trilug, and they have a Trilug. So there's really not a whole lot I have to complain about it. It is heavy, but it's a full auto rated can. It's a beast of a can. And even though it's heavy, it's short and compact. So that weight is not as long or far away from the barrel as like a longer traditional length nine millimeter can. It's not necessarily a K can. It's that sweet medium between a little bitty K can that's going to usually be a little bit louder and a longer can, right? 
it's that sweet spot right in the middle. So I really like it. I think it performed very well. I wouldn't change a whole lot about it if I was be completely honest about it. So there you go. All right, guys, so there you go. That is the KGM SMG9. Um, you know my opinion about it. Let me know your opinion about it. Do you think it's worth having a heavy use can or would you rather have a super modular, super lightweight can? I mean, that it really comes down to what your needs are and what wheelhouse you're operating in, right? For this guy, you see where I'm landing on it. That's it, you guys be good to be safe. I appreciate you guys watching, subscribing and everything. If you got questions, let me know. Um, if I can't answer them for you, I will try to point you in the direction of somebody that can. Thank you, KGM, for sending these cans out. I appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll catch you guys in the next video. See you.